All right, today I'm gonna to try and finish the vanity top and I'm gonna get two sheets of paneling on the wall. I'm just gonna be covering up what's already here. Um, the light socket shouldn't be any issue. It's just adding a quarter inch because it's just paneling. I'm gonna take this, you can buy it from Lowe's. It's been glued up. We'll make this be the vanity top. And it's, I got it wide enough to get two pieces of one inch trim. And that'll be around the edges. And then I bought this piece. It's gonna make it into the backsplash uh, around the one side and on the back. And we'll see how far we get today. All right, I am trying to get a one inch strip. I'm trying to utilize everything I can off of this. And to do that, I've got to get a one inch strip here. Two one inch strips, that way one goes on the side, one goes on the front, and I'm not wasting anything. So I've measured one inch here, allowed an eighth for the blade and another one inch comes out two and one eighth to here. And after I trim those two, I should have a little bit. Don't have a table saw, gonna do it all by skill saw. So we'll see how that goes. Let's try this again. That other saw is what I had the blade turned around backwards to cut tin with. So it didn't cut too good at first. So let's try this. too bad. Let's do one more. If it gets too rough, I've got a planer. I'll probably dress them up a little bit. Then I've got one little strip, and that gets it down to the size it needs to be for the vanity.
show y'all. This is what I did. I left that little bit. That way if I need to sand it down, I can. Now, get my measurement across and we'll have the rough top and I can screw it down and pin nail it down, whatever. And we'll start getting a trim on it. Give y'all a glimpse of reality. That's why you check your measurements twice. 30 and a quarter, 30 and a quarter, 31 and a quarter. I almost, as soon as I measured it, I realized <laughs> I'm way off. But that's why you always measure, measure twice, cut once. Let's see how it fits. All right, here it goes. Like a glove on the wrong hand. No, I'm just kidding. The walls are out of square, so I can't do anything about that. Um, if I wanted to be meticulous, I could have added an eighth here and an eighth over here, but that's gonna look pretty good. And then I'm gonna have the trim here and here. It's gonna have a little bit more overhang. You'll get that and I'll bring it right back. Here's what the trim's gonna look like on the side. It's gonna look pretty good there. It's gonna look pretty good there. And I'm probably gonna split the difference on the crack because of the wall being out of square. And I put the trim on the sides and then I put the backsplash. It will look pretty good bring that backsplash in here and take a quick quick look at that right. it's an eighth up piece so I can't put it this way I can put it over here and spin it around put a piece here the same thing's going to be over on this side and cut out for the sink it's all gonna get sanded and coated, so it's not gonna be that rough. I think for now, it's gonna look pretty sharp. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna give it a little quick sand. Get this knocked down a little bit. And we all know, caulking hides it all. trim pieces up and get them pin nailed on then I'll get a mark out with my template on the sink and then be ready to secure it All right, I got my template on here. I've measured how far, centered it up on both sides. I set it back one inch 
and it's also going to have that trim here so there'll be a little bit of a lip right there i'll have my backsplash here and the trim here i give it plenty of room to put stuff on the counter so now i'm just going to tape it down before i do my marks and then we'll be on to cutting it out on each side this one to be a little smaller but because of that splash on the side but that'll give this plenty of room to sit stuff all right let's mark it out and cut it no air in this place. I am about to die. It's July and hot and humid. All right, I'll be right back when I cut it up. I've got the sink. That's just in here temporarily, but I think that'll work. Now I'm going to take this back off and then I'm going to do the paneling and I've got to put this sheet up before I can set the toilet and I'm gonna get this sheet up I don't know that I'll be able to get to this one but I can always wait to put this backsplash on until I get this drop down in there so that much closer All right, I've measured over and up, and I've actually got an extra box that I used to help mark out where the receptacle is going to be. And I'm just going to use a Milwaukee multi tool and cut it out. this panel up one off camera you can't see it so I got this whole wall and this part done so I can finish this I've got this sanded and got the trim on it I'm ready to put the put it on top of the vanity so I'm going to silicone and then pin the Yes. 
backsplash, show you how it's going to look. the final sanding on this and then we'll set the sink in place oh all right we're gonna set the sink in for just temporary to make sure it looks good so go ahead and set it in that drop it in place you can hold it up and there you go that's what it's gonna look like we're right, obviously we're gonna clear coat the top and then we'll get a mirror on the wall but that's gonna be what it looks like I'm gonna keep the top natural and then I'm gonna paint some more white on the base cover up some of them scratches and got this wall done now we're ready to set the toilet got one strip of molding up top and we can't do any more until we get the rest of the walls done all right I got my goal done today. I wanted to get this vanity, get it installed. I've got everything done except for finishing the top. I think one point in the video, I said I was gonna leave it natural. After looking at the white walls, white and gray, I decided to make this dark. The floors are a dark color. So I think that'll be a better fit for here. And I'm probably even gonna stain the molding to match this top. So um, everything I've already put up, I'll have to tape it off and stain it. Um, 
but everything turned out pretty much like I had it in my head. So if you got any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Pretty much cut and dry. Buy this panel from Lowe's, rip strips off to put around the edge. If I had to do it over again, I probably just bought the strips because I don't have a table saw and didn't rip it straight. But you, like you can't tell it um, the way after I sanded it, it'll all come out smooth. But um, yeah, I think everything was natural wood. Um, I originally got some PVC uh, for the molding. And then I saw the cedar and uh, it's half the price. So it's a no brainer to go ahead and go with that. But um, overall it's coming together. Got the toilet set behind me and um, got it in place. I was able to get about two, about three sheets, no two sheets of paneling. And I was able to get one whole wall and this part, part of this one on this side. And um, as you can tell, I'm just going on top of what's already here. And it's, all it's doing is making that wall a quarter of an inch thicker. Um, and it's just a little bit at a time and I'm getting it done. But uh, the next big project is gonna be putting in the bathtub and I'm looking for a good deal on one. Right now, I'm not seeing any deals on any of them at all. Uh, and what is used, people wanting the same price as a brand new one. So we'll just keep looking. And um, like I said, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna uh, paint this some more, paint this white. I'm thinking about making this even darker. Um, right now that's a red oak and the floor is a like a darker brown. So I might end up making this a little bit darker. I uh, haven't decided yet. But if you got any questions, comments, just let me know. Thank you.